Calabria. L'autore è Philip Cook, un professore cinese storico e rubito che è vissuto a Napoli. Ciao once again Splendidos! Euro Splendor has been to Naples for two events. In my first video, I was at Scubito Liberato covering UE Festival, a celebration of self-publishing and underground comics and zines. But for this installment, I braved the crowds of pop culture fanatics in the metro stations and queued outside the massive Mostra de Ultramare to check out Comic Con Napoli. Many aspects of nerd culture had humongous dedicated exhibition halls. The most crowded area was definitely video gaming. The event was hosting several video game competitions. There were premiering games and game concepts such as virtual reality, art inspired by video games, and vintage consoles and cartridges for sale. Cosplay enthusiasts, clubs, and professionals uh, had a place for meeting the public. This is a reenactment of the tragic events of Raccoon City. Amateur and aspiring cartoonists were recognized. Asian culture, manga, and anime filled an entire building. If you like pop culture merchandise, any giant cons like Comic Con Napoli are the place for you. Before we get to the comic artists, so let's hear from another type of creator who is one with the force and the I forces with her. Sophia. And this is a Spada della Forza from Italy. We, we make uh, lightsabers for combat. We have uh, so many features for our lightsabers. Uh, you can choose uh, uh, the hilt, the blades, uh, the switches, uh, uh, the grip. Uh, these are uh, the, the hilt uh, model. We make this lightsaber by hand. Uh, <laughs> like Jedi. Yeah, like Jedi. We came from Rimini, 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 um, a little city on the Adriatic Sea. Not uh, all of these people uh, know what is a lightsaber, so I have to explain. <laughs> uh, I have to say that uh, these are lightsaber combat. Uh, not, uh, not all of these people believe uh, these don't break uh, if uh, we fight. <laughs> Uh, look, uh, so, uh, aluminium for the heels, and uh, I don't know uh, what to say polycarbonato in English, <laughs> but uh, it's a uh, plastic material, uh, so strong. If you like games, but not so much the video variety, Comic Con Napoli still has you covered. All manner of board games, strategy and puzzle games you can pretend to ride a bicycle in this game award winners and new products from around the world made this one of the most joyous areas of the convention in my opinion and now onto the comic artists you're working as an illustrator or yeah mainly as an illustrator as a graphic designer as well now i'm trying to expand to comics as well which is something i'm really passionate about of course uh, yeah, but mainly as an illustrator, as a painter, sometimes. So I'm I'm dealing with uh, images, let's say. Sorry. I'm I'm with Trumoon, which is our uh, fanzine. Basically, Trumoon uh, was born in in the 80s, in 1982. All the authors they were actually you know drawing the stories um, back then yeah, are now quite famous. They're basically all working for Bonelli, which is one of the no, it, it is actually the biggest, um, the biggest like comic group in Italy. Just wanted to bring back to life the the, the old fanzine in the in 2000. I think it was 2017, 
and they try to you know involve all you know young young artists as well and I'm one of the young uh, artists you know artists with a lot of different styles and techniques as well so you know working together it really helps mm -hmm. from you know basic techniques to you know way of telling stories you know you know you understand how different people are using different ways to tell stories one of the most beautiful cities I've ever seen it's just uh, it's amazing how it's, a, it's like a Chinese, what we call a Chinese box. So basically it's a city inside the city, inside the city. So everywhere you look, you can find something new and weird and colorful every day and every hour of the day. I mean, it's always a pleasure to be in such a big convention because obviously you have the chance to meet, you know, really famous authors as well other than you know publishers and, and, and stuff and you can share opinion with publisher and I saw Charlie Adler over there. Pardon? I saw Charlie Adler over there. Yeah which is from one sheet. So basically this is actually a big one sheet. So you, you open it like this and you have the first uh, story which is only four page and then you have the first the second one is an eight page story and then you flip it over again you have two big page stories. It was just a slip paper and we, we're actually still experimenting, so we're trying to find the best way to actually print those. It's actually quite rare. It's the number zero of the first, the very first fanzine back in the 80s. So this is where everything started, basically. Mm -hmm. Here we have one of the first story by Bruno Brindisi, which is now one of the main author for Bonelli and Dylan Dog. I can easily say I started, like, well, I learned how to read with, with comics, because my father was a huge comic fan as well, and that's how I've been introduced to reading and telling stories as well. Whoever wants to do comics, you don't really uh, need to know how to draw it is more about how to tell a story so the major advice i can give is basically just read as much as you can draw as much as you can and talk to other people who are doing the same as much as you can in fact then in the 80s you actually need you know a publisher to get things on paper to bring your stuff around today you don't really have excuses